Hey loser, what's up? Still getting by on a shoestring? <laughs> Who are you to talk to me like that? And why do you know my number? Uh, hello, it's me, Emma. <laughs> We've been best friends since elementary school. Wait, did you delete my number? How dare you do that to me? Oh, Emma. How unexpected. I thought we had already stopped talking to each other a long, long time ago. I made it known that our friendship was over by blocking your number and refusing to communicate with you any further. Why did you decide to show up all of a sudden? Angela, really? Is that how you greet an old friend? I must admit, I've been missing you to death for all these years, but... I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you're still so rude and ungracious. And you're just as impolite as the old days. What have you been doing since you and Henry split up? <laughs> I can only imagine that you've been wallowing in self pity and hiding in your house all day. After all, it must be pretty devastating to find out that the man you deeply fell in love with has been cheating on you with me the whole time. Too bad, really. I could only say that Henry had laid his eyes on me for longer than you knew it. I guess he just couldn't resist my charms. But then again, who could? Yeah, for all I care, that happened ages ago, and I'm not interested in bringing that up again. To be honest, I was able to move on from that a long time ago. Is that so? From the way I see it, you don't seem like you have put it behind you at all. I've been following your social media, but you barely posted any pictures of yourself. It's, it's all about stupid landscapes, dogs birds, similar mindless stuff. I can tell for a fact that you have no life at all, Angela. <laughs> I bet you're still an antisocial weirdo like the last time we talked, as opposed to me, <laughs> who's already engaged to a fine, wealthy man and about to marry him in a few weeks. Guess who? Well, what can I say? Congratulations. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm desperately curious to know who's the lucky groom. Honestly, Emma, I couldn't care less about you or your fiancé. Angela, you're such a walking salt mine. It's clear that you're jealous of me, but please try to hide it. You're making yourself look pathetic. <laughs> Anyways, back to our main topic about my fiancé. He is... Henry! <laughs> what a sweet surprise, don't you think? Really? good to hear. You two really deserve each other. I know you're still hung up on Henry, but he's mine now, and there's nothing you can do about it. So why don't you just accept that you've lost and move on? <laughs> I can already imagine how your face turned red and steam came out of your ears when you heard that I'm engaged to Henry. <laughs> it's so delicious. But don't worry, Angela. I'm sure an ugly duckling like you will also find someone else eventually. Just give it some time. Thanks for your concerns, but I'm good. I bet you were desperately praying for things between us not to work out so that you could get back together with Henry, right? <laughs> Guess what? It's quite the opposite. Henry is the most amazing guy I've ever dated. That's why I know me and him are gonna have the best times of our lives together. Why should I be praying to get back together with Henry? Once a cheater, always a cheater. And I definitely don't need a cheater in my life. As a matter of fact, once I got to know the kind of person he is, I was more than happy to be rid of him. Oh, darling, please. Don't try to act tough with me. I know you're just feeling so insecure right now and you're trying to put on a brave face, but it's so transparent. Go ahead and give me your worst insults. I dare you, but I'm warning you. It will only show how pathetic and miserable you really are. Why do I need to waste my breath by insulting you? It's not worth it. But one thing still puzzles me back when we were high school girls. Why did a guy like Henry choose to go out with you in the first place. <laughs> he's so charming, he has a good sense of humor, and most importantly, he's incredibly rich. And you? You're the black sheep, the outcast of our class. You tried to blend in and avoid being made fun of, but 
<laughs> you failed miserably. I was the one who rescued you from being bullied. I was your savior, so I think it was only fair that you gave me your boyfriend in return. Emma, your pretense as my savior is no longer fooling anyone. The bullies have informed me that you paid them to cause me all those troubles. Then, <laughs> you would conveniently appear at the right place and time to play the role of the hero who rescued me from the bad guys. <laughs> Your performance was quite convincing, but I saw through your little scheme long ago. I see you have figured it out. I must admit, I was surprised that you were able to do so. <laughs> I thought you were too dull to see through my little ruse. But then again, I suppose it doesn't matter now. After all, I was your only friend at school. Don't give me that. You were only keeping me around to make me your little sidekick. You never really cared about me as a person. You just saw me as someone who could be used to make you look good. But I'm glad it's all over now. You and Henry are both out of my life for good. I'm finally free to be myself and to surround myself with people who actually care about me. Why are you so harsh on your one and only friend? Oh, oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Henry is willing to spend over nearly $100,000 for our wedding. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I know that he earns quite a sum of money from his job, but I never thought he would be generous enough to finance the whole wedding like that. I can tell for a fact that it will be the wedding of the century, don't you think? And why are you telling me these things? I already told you it doesn't matter to me at all. If you're just going to show up to rub my face in the fact that you're marrying my ex-boyfriend, then I'm sorry. I'm not interested. Let's just end our conversation here and I'll block you again. Wait, Angela, why do you have to be so mean to me? It wasn't my fault that Henry chose me instead of you. I did flirt with him a couple of times, but it was just for fun. Seriously, I was just joking around a little bit with both of you guys. I never thought that he would actually take it seriously and dump you. I never wanted to ruin our friendship, Angela. I'm being honest. It already happened and there's no use crying over spilled milk. As I said, I already came to terms with what Henry and you did to me. So, can we just finish this little meaningless chit chat now? Because I have other important things to tend to. Angela, <laughs> I know you're still beating yourself up about losing Henry, but you don't have to be embittered for so long. Look, I'm going to extend an olive branch to you so that we can patch things up. What do you say about rubbing my happiness in your face by attending my wedding ceremony with Henry this Sunday? I know it will be a great opportunity for us to resume our dead friendship, don't you think? No, Emma. More like the opposite. No one in their right mind would ever want to invite their spouse's ex-partner to their wedding. It's ludicrous and tacky. I'm not going, and I don't understand why you would have been asked. Angela, <laughs> did you receive my wedding invitation? I already know about your wedding, Emma. You don't need to keep calling and texting me about it. Then why didn't you answer any of that? I admit that I did you wrong before, but now I truly want to make things right between us so that we could go back to being besties again. Come on, I know that you would want it too, don't you? N no, not at all, thank you. Look, I'm not interested in attending and I'd appreciate if you would stop harassing me. Angela, honey, why not? <laughs> I bet you're still a loser who still has no friends and no social life whatsoever. Are you still living with your grandparents and leeching off of their money? I really feel sorry for them for having to deal with a parasite like you. But hey, maybe you'll have a better chance at life if you agree to join my wedding. You get to meet the elites like me and my fiance. I'll introduce you to some decent guys that you could hook up with. And if you're lucky, <laughs> you'll get a shot at escaping your destitute and hopeless existence which I doubt will happen. <laughs> Anyways, you must come to my wedding. I insist. No, Emma, I've already told you that I'm not going to your wedding. I don't know why you keep bothering me about it. Can't you find someone else to invite? Besides, I'm not interested in meeting up with any other guys. I'm getting married soon. So please, just leave me alone. I've had enough of you belittling me. I'm not going to sit here all day and let you talk down to me. You're getting married too? Why didn't you tell me anything about it? Tell me who's unlucky enough to become your future husband no wait 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 you don't have to say anything let me guess some fat and balding old man correct <laughs> I'm laughing to tears right now. I I already picture how you and and that fat old man would be together. Everyone would think that he's your dad. No kidding. <laughs> but 
But seriously, tell me, who is it? Yeah, keep wild guessing all you want, but who I'm gonna marry has nothing to do with you, so I'm not obliged to reveal my fiancé's identity to you, either. I think that you're just too afraid and embarrassed if I find out about the pitiful guy who agreed to marry you. Speak to me with the honest truth, Angela. Did you waterboard him, threaten to break his kneecaps, or <laughs> did you just give him the old Stockholm Syndrome treatment to make him say yes to your marriage? I know for a fact that no one with a functional brain and walking legs would choose to marry a useless cow like you <laughs> unless it's someone who's as worthless as you wait let me understand something you want me to attend your wedding but instead of showing your sincerity you're mocking me and my husband instead what's even funnier is that you don't even have any clue who my husband is do you have any sense of shame emma i bet not okay okay i was just trying to lighten the mood you know what angela i think you have a special ability which is to suck the fun out of any situation you're the human equivalent of a wet blanket come on miss gloom are you coming to my wedding or what what? Angela, answer me. <laughs> I know you're there. Don't ignore me like that. Don't think I'm a fool. Angela. Well, 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 Angela. Look what you missed. My wedding was absolutely epic. Everyone was having so much fun. The atmosphere was electric and there were at least a thousand people there. Well, too bad. You can't turn back time. So just sit there and savor the fact that you missed out on the party of the century. Oh, you again! For the love of God, I've blocked your number twice already. And you still keep calling me. I've told you repeatedly that I, I don't, I don't want to talk to you, but you just won't listen. Can you just move on with your life, Emma? Don't block me. How rude of you, Angela. Is this how your parents raised you to be so mean and disrespectful to other people? I'm your friend, Angela. After all, <laughs> your parents abandoned you. And you were raised by your grandparents. <laughs> it's no wonder wonder you're so uneducated and uncivilized. Don't you dare mentioning my parents or else you'll regret it. Look, I already made it clear to you we're not friends anymore. To me, we're nothing but complete strangers now. Are you seriously gonna hold on to your grudge against me forever? But wait, let me finish what I was about to say. So, I found the most expensive and spacious restaurant in the neighborhood for our wedding, but there were still more guests than we expected. We had to arrange more chairs and tables, but we managed to fit everyone in. <laughs> what a relief, don't you think? Great. <laughs> I'm happy for you and Henry. <laughs> you're just saying you're happy for me to conceal your jealousy but i'm not fooled i know you're secretly seething with envy that i had such a successful and well-attended wedding you were actually lucky that you decided not to attend if you had there wouldn't have been any more seats left for you <laughs> and i can't imagine you would have wanted to sit on the floor or enjoy the wedding feast alone in the restroom <laughs> Those are the perfect places for losers like you. But don't worry, I'll still send you a wedding album. You can look at all the pictures of me and my beautiful new husband and cry yourself to sleep at night. Yeah, cool. Whatever you say, Emma. Oh, <laughs> did I mention that Henry also promised to give me a luxury honeymoon trip to Dubai? He already booked a hotel and everything. Can you believe it? I'm so sorry, Angela. I know you must be feeling really sorry for yourself right now. After all, you could have had everything I have, but too bad. Henry chose me instead of you, and there's nothing I can do to help lift you up from your little hopeless and lowly existence. So you're finally happy now, aren't you? After you stole my boyfriend and everything he has, you finally got what you wanted. <laughs> well, good for you. I hope you enjoy it while it lasts. I know what you're after. And it's not Henry's love, it's his money. You're just a gold digger and you'll never be happy until you have everything he has. What are you saying, Angela? Of course I love Henry from the bottom of my heart. He's everything I've ever wanted in a man. And his fortune is just the icing on the cake. I mean, who would ever say no to a financially fulfilling life? It's a dream of everyone, isn't it? Yeah, we'll see how long that'll last. Of course you wouldn't understand. You're just a poor little thing, aren't you? You've never known what it's like to have everything you could ever want. I'm glad that you're still able to put up with Henry, even though he's a total jerk. Of course you wouldn't know that because he's so good at concealing his true colors. What do you mean concealing his true colors? And how dare you call my husband a jerk? Is Henry hiding something from me? Wait. 
I know what you're up to. You're trying to scare me and sabotage my relationship with Henry out of jealousy. You're hoping that if you can break us up, you can get back together with him like the old days. Well, I'm not going to let you do that. I know your game and I'm not going to fall for it. Suit yourself whenever you choose to believe what I say or not. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for your petty games. I have a wedding to plan and I don't need you bothering me with your bragging. If you have any self-respect left, you'll stop trying to make me jealous of your perfect life. It's not fooling anyone and it's just making you look pathetic. So go away and find someone else to impress. I'm not interested in your games. Hold on, Angela, what are you saying? What is it about Henry that you're not telling me? You can't just speak ill of my husband and expect me to do nothing about it. Tell me straight up or else I'll let Henry know that you bad mouthed him. Then you'll see what happens when you cross me. I already told you Henry is your husband. If you have any concerns about him, you should ask him directly. I'm not his keeper and I'm not going to be your messenger. Besides, I know you wouldn't believe me if I told you the truth. How dare you fool around with me like that? You don't know what I'm capable of. I'm going to make you pay a heavy price for speaking ill of my husband. I'll go all the way to your grandparents' house and trash it. I'll break their windows, slash their tires, and wreck everything there is to wreck. I'll make sure that you and your grandparents get to live in the outmost misery until you can no longer put up with it and be forced to move to another place. I'll make you regret the day you ever crossed me. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So don't you dare hide anything from me. Are you serious? Vandalism is a crime and you could easily be arrested and put in jail. If you ever set foot on my grandparents' property with the intention of vandalizing it, I will make sure that you are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. You will not get away with this. I don't have the whole day to play a cat and mouse game with you. Tell me the truth about Henry now. Fine, if you insist. But I'm warning you, you're not going to like what you hear. So don't come crying to me later. Tell me already. I've been refraining myself from cursing the whole time we've been talking together. So hurry up. Seriously, I don't even know where to start. He's controlling, manipulative, abusive, and most importantly, he's a two-timer in nature. He has cheated on me multiple times and he even refers to strip clubs as a secret hideout. That's why we ended up going separate ways. He didn't dump me, I dumped him. So you don't have to feel sorry about stealing him from me. What? <laughs> I don't believe any of this. You're just trying to gaslight me into distrusting Henry. <laughs> You're a liar. Well, I just told you the honest truth about what happened between me and Henry when we were dating. No more, no less. But if you don't believe me, why don't you just go ahead and ask him yourself? I'm sure he'll be happy to tell you all about his other girlfriends. Angela, you gotta help me. Henry is going crazy at me because I confronted him about his affairs with other women. I've never seen him so angry before. He's yelling at me, calling me names and threatening me. I don't know what to do. I warned you that Henry can become extremely unhinged when he loses his temper. I had experienced it firsthand and I knew that I had to get away from him as soon as possible. Henry said he wants a divorce and that we'll be splitting the wedding expenses. He also canceled our trip to Dubai, which caused him to lose a significant portion of the deposit. He's now demanding that I repay him for the canceled trips as well. Just a few days ago, I was living the high life that everyone dreams of. Now I'm facing a divorce, financial ruin, and the possibility of homelessness. What is this all about? You brought this on your shoulders, Emma. You seduced Henry, claiming that you stole him from me and bragging about it like it was some kind of glorious victory. But in reality, you didn't even know what kind of person Henry truly is. What can I say now other than wishing you all the best luck to deal with your own problems? You know Henry, can you please have a word with him? Tell him to reconsider getting divorced? I seriously cannot afford to pay such a substantial sum of money that Henry's asking from me. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do for you. Me and Henry stopped talking to each other a long time ago, so I have no reason to get in touch with him again. Besides, my husband and I are moving to another country to visit my parents and enjoy our honeymoon. We play to stay there indefinitely, so I don't want to waste my time worrying about other people's business. Wait, what are you saying? Another country? Why on earth are your parents there? Now that I think about it, I never heard you say anything about your parents. My parents are the owners of a multinational corporation headquartered in a foreign country. They offered me 
to reside there with them, but I refused because I didn't want my grandparents to live all by themselves. Now you know why Henry got together with me in the first place. He was aiming for my family's fortune. Why didn't you tell me anything about it? I thought you were just some poor kid who's been dumped by her mom and dad and forced to live with her grandparents. But now it turns out your parents are incredibly rich? <laughs> What kind of joke is this? What's the point? Never considered me a real friend, did you? And now you're trying to contact me? Don't bother. <laughs> I'm changing my phone number and my grandparents are moving with me. So don't even think about harassing me or coming to their house. If you do, I'll have you arrested. Wait, if, if you have a lot of money, maybe you can let me borrow some of it. Now you're asking me for money? <laughs> don't act like a two-faced snake. By the way, I know all about your pathetic wedding. It were only you, Henry, your parents, and a few people who were paid to attend. Henry's family didn't even bother to show up because they could see right through you. They knew you were a terrible person and they didn't want anything to do with your wedding. How did you know all of that? Who told you? Who else? But Henry's mom. She called me practically begging me to get back together with Henry because she couldn't stand your rude and uncouth behavior. That witch. I knew that I should have been more careful with her. Now, if you don't have anything else to say, I should get going because my husband and grandparents are waiting for me to join them for dinner. Wait, this is not fair at all. <laughs> Why all of a sudden your life turns out to be better than mine? I can't accept this. Angela, we need to meet up in person and make everything clear between the two of us. Angela! Emma was finally forced to go to court and divorce Henry, a decision that came with a heavy price. In addition to the emotional toil of ending her marriage, she was also saddled with a large sum of debt that Henry demanded as restitution for the wedding expenses and the lost deposit for their honeymoon. Constrained by the need to make a living and repay Henry the money she owed him, Emma was forced to take on multiple jobs, often working two or three at once. My family and I are currently enjoying a blissful period of familial togetherness, having forced a strong bond through our shared experiences. My husband, who is already a successful CEO of his own company, is providing me with every possible assistance so that I can build a strong career at my parents' corporation. Despite our busy schedules, my husband and I still make time for each other and for our family. We have chosen to live under the same roof as my parents and grandparents so that we can share our happy moments together and be there for each other when things get rough. The adage, when one door closes, another one opens, is certainly true in my case. The dissolution of my relationship with Henry, which I once thought was a tragedy, has actually proven to be a blessing in disguise. I have since found a wonderful husband and reunited with my family in an amazing way. Although the future is full of uncertainty and we cannot predict what will happen next, I believe that if we remain true to our core values and surround ourselves with people who cherish us, we will be able to live a fulfilling and happy life that we truly deserve.